we're going to continue our series this month on social media mastery, making sure that um, we're really focusing and hearing from people who are strong in the area of social media marketing. So last week, we really dove into LinkedIn with Scott Aaron. Today, we get to hear from Jamie with Aquagem Media Group. Aquagem is out of Long Branch. So again, local to you know the areas where we are serving our clients. Um, she came to me on recommendation and I'm super thrilled that she's here with us today to be able to really dive into Instagram and Instagram Reels. So Jamie, I would love for you to be able to um, introduce yourself Give us a little bit about you and about Aquagem and then dive in. Sure. Okay. Excellent. Hi, everyone. Um, I am Jamie Blank and I founded the company Aquagem back in 2016. And we are a social media marketing company. Uh, we have all different types of clients, but I would say about 80% of our clients are, are within the real estate industry in some capacity. Um, so we are constantly doing, uh, and learning about new techniques and, and tips and tricks and stuff for the real estate industry and, and ways that you guys can maximize your social media. Um, on, if, if I could say, I could sit here for, for five days and, and just talk about all the stuff you could do, but today we're going to really just kind of narrow in on Instagram reels. So I'm going to actually share my screen. Uh, let's just see. So we are going to. Share this, share sound. Okay. All right. Sure. Oh, this is telling me to. Okay, hold on one second. I'm so sorry. I checked that box and now it's telling me to. Okay. Uh, can everybody hear me? I can't see. I don't know what I just did. I can hear you and I can see your presentation, your cover page. Okay. So you can, because I can't see myself anymore. And you can just see this presentation right here, right? I have two screens up. I can see you and I can see the presentation. All right. Perfect. All right. Excellent. All right. So um, like I said, we're going to just talk about um, Instagram Reels today. So we will get right into it. Okay. So first, I just want to go over with everybody um, some stats on Instagram Reels. There's over 140 billion Reels played on Instagram and Facebook every day. Over 2 billion uh, people watch Reels every month. And Reels get 20% more engagement than other video content on Instagram. This is a uh, Instagram reel study from 2022. It basically just shows that reels have an average reach rate of 20.59% uh, outperforming all other types of posts, um, such as carousel posts, images, um, or just even regular videos in general, and especially for small businesses. Um, and one interesting fact about this uh, um, study that you see over here is that if you look on the left-hand side, this is basically the pro your profile size in, in terms of how many followers you have. So between zero and less than 5,000, that demographic actually, their reels reached more um, than some of the people with bigger following. So if you don't have 100,000, a million followers, that's okay. Using Instagram reels, you're actually going to reach more people um, when it comes to percentage uh, that, than others that have a bigger following. Um, so just some uh, best practices for reels. Uh, the types of uh, reels are, are always going to be a video format. You can use images, but you'd create a video using those images. So the format would always be an MP4 or an MOV file. And usually they should be about 90 seconds long. Now, if you're using, uh, they can be up to 15 minutes, but it really depends how you create your reel. If you're creating the reel inside the Instagram reels tool on the app straight from the Instagram camera, then it can only be 90 seconds. However, there are some ways around that to make your reels uh, longer. And I will um, get into that in, that in this presentation. 
before we start and go into some tips and, and ways to create reels, some products that I recommend for sure um, are, are these is lighting and just like stability of your camera. All everything that you see on here can be found on Amazon for less than $30. Um, the one to the left over here is just something where you can stabilize your camera, whether it be a selfie stick or a um, tripod of some sort. They have desktop tripods or just full stand tripods. Definitely recommend doing that. Otherwise, your videos can come out shaky. Um, and then lighting, really depending on where you're filming. If you're outside, you, you really don't need it. But if you're um, inside house or, or in an office, I would definitely recommend getting some sort of lighting. Again, they're not expensive. They, they do have expensive ones that are excellent. But if you're just starting out on Rails, just a simple lighting right in front of you would be recommended. Okay, now we're going to talk about Instagram Rails ratios, which is um, it seems confusing, but it's not once you start really posting. When you're in the Instagram Reels um, section on, on Instagram, you will see a full, this is the size, this, this um, on the left hand side over here, this is the size of your video, which is 1920 pixels by 1080 pixels. It's a vertical long form video. Okay, um, this is what you'll see on your Reels feed. So there's different feeds. You have your main feed, which is when people go to your Instagram page, that's what they see. Then you have your Reels feed. On your Reels feed, the thumbnail that you choose is also going to be this 1920 by 1080 size. Okay, it's the same size as your Instagram story. Um, and you will, and we're going to get into this, but you will want to be... Um, creative and make sure that you pay attention to your cover image for your video because that cover image is going to show up on both your reels feed over here and your main feed but we'll get into that now what i was saying on your main feed you're going to have a 1080 by 1080 or a one to one ratio that's your thumbnail so before people click and play your video on your on your main page they're going to see a square sized um cover photo for your video. And then as they're just scrolling, as you're scrolling on, on Instagram, you're going to see the feed post, which is a four to five ratio or 1080 by 1350. This is your in-feed ratio. Um, and it basically what it does is it takes that, that long form video, the vertical one that I showed you first, and it crops the top 15% and the bottom 15% of your video. So keep that in mind when you're filming that you don't want to have something that's super important on the bottom 15% or the top 15%. Um, when people see it in the Explore tab, um, they'll see it in the Explore tab. They'll also see it on their home feed. This is the dimension that um, we suggest for all content. This is where all your important information is going to go. Um, and so this is kind of just a, like a little tip based on that, um, is this is the clear area. It doesn't show any information in the zone. So when you're putting any text over your videos, um, you see, if you look at this first, uh, uh, image on the left-hand side, you'll see that there's your caption, the name of your Instagram page, the audio that you're using, all of this is going to cover up that 15% on the top and 15% on the top will be covered by, by you'll see the arrow, it'll say reels and a camera. So you wanna just make sure that your text is within this area. Okay, um, next up, I'm going to go into the best three apps to help make and edit reels. Um, the first one uh, that I suggest is something called VN and there's a free version of VN. It's very easy to use um, and you can uh, edit videos without a watermark. You would just have to delete it. Um, there's also something called InStories, which is great because they have templates that you can kind of drag and drop also along with Video Leap. So both of them have templates that are made by other creators. You kind of drag and drop your clips in there and they make the reel for you. You save it and then you can then post that video to uh, your Instagram reel. Now, when you're scrolling on Instagram, you might see some competitors or people that are, you know, in your industry, and you might say, wow, I actually, I love that, that image, I love that post, whatever it might be, I don't know if everybody knows this, but you can save posts and reels so that you can come back to them when you're ready for some inspiration and you want to make a reel or a post on yourself on your own. 
If you look at this first image, you'll see this um, little button right here that you would push to save. Um, then you, it will save into your own collection. But what's cool now is that you can also create collections with other people, maybe people on your team or people within your industry. And it's called a collaborative collection. Um, to get to it, you would go to your main page on Instagram, which is this middle picture. You would um, click on the three bars on the top right. You'll go back to saved. This, this menu option will come up. And then there you'll see all your posts. So you'll see um, all the posts if you've saved audio and any collaborative collection that you have created. Okay. Now with Instagram and TikTok, it's literally, it's all about which audio you choose. Um, if you edit your video outside of Instagram, make sure that you select the music from Instagram's music library. This will help your videos get discovered more easily. And the reason for that being is that people will see a video. Um, they'll really like the audio that's being used and people can, can just click on the actual audio and then you'll be able to use it in your reel and see other reels that were created with that same audio. This is how you would do it. You would click on the audio, you touch use audio, or you can save the audio. So if you want to just go right then and there and create a video using that audio that you found, um, you would click on use audio. If not, you would save it same way that we saved the posts um, in the previous slide. Um, or you can also scroll and see other people that have used the same audio and kind of get some inspiration for your own content. Jamie, um, another feature that, that I highly recommend is collaborating with other creators. Last year, this feature was added to Instagram and it lets you share credit with another creator. Basically, when you share a reel, it'll basically show up on their page as if they shared it. So if you look at this image on the left, this was one of my clients, First American, um, and they partnered with this nonprofit um, organization called Book Smiles. So when the reel was posted, it actually came from both of them and it shows up to both of their feeds. Um, it is definitely a game changer if you work with any type of influencers, brand partners, or, or anyone. Um, like I said, it lets you extend your reach to their following, which means more like shares, reach, and overall engagement. Um, they will need to accept that collaboration invite. It's not going to just automatically go onto their page. Otherwise, everybody would share it to celebrities' pages and it would be great. But uh, yeah, no. So they'd have to accept that collaboration post. When you're about to post a reel, you'll see it will say tag people and then it will say invite collaborator. You'll then search for their name and send them an invite. Now, keep in mind, you can only collaborate with other creators the first time and you can only do one person. So you can only do it right before you post. If you already post, you can't go back in and tag a collaborator. You can go back in and tag somebody, but it will not show up on their page. Another thing to keep in mind, 85% uh, of video content is watched on mute by default. While you're scrolling in bed, if you're uh, some people at work and they're just kind of scrolling through. So I highly recommend adding captions. There's two different ways you can do it. Um, you can either add captions right from the Instagram app by clicking on this uh, square face and you'll see an option that says captions. They will automatically add to your reel if you're speaking in them. Or there is an app that I definitely recommend. Most people use this app when you see really nice captions. Um, uh, and it's actually, it's called captions. So you can't forget it. Um, and you, there's all different types uh, of templates that you can use in styles. Um, they have actually recently incorporated now a, an AI feature that not only adds your captions, but also if you're not looking directly at the camera, it somehow magically makes your eye, like makes you have, make eye contact with the camera. So it looks like you're looking at the camera, which is scary, but also pretty awesome. <laughs> Okay, so now we are going to talk about some real ideas. I think that's what people struggle with the most. What kind of reels am I going to be posting? Um, one that I suggest is like a day in the life. Um, what goes on behind the scenes of your day-to-day -day life? You can take a couple clips of you waking up, having your morning coffee, taking calls, office meetings, lunch, personal hobbies, going um, showing it a house, going to a closing, you basically just want to show your followers what it looks like to live a day uh, in your shoes. Now, to follow up with that, I actually um, created a video that I'm going to share with everybody 
Um, this was behind the scenes, a day in the life at Aquagem Media Group with uh, Francesca, who's part of my team, is on here as well. Um, and this is going to kind of walk you through the whole process. So I'm going to hit play. I hope you guys can hear it. If you can't, somebody say something because I can't see anyone anymore. But uh, all right, I'm going to hit play. Okay, so here is where you will see your we can main hear it. Instagram feed. This is your page, and I get there by clicking on the button that you see on the bottom right. Um, you can scroll down. This is your main feed where all of your photos and videos and reels will be posted. Uh, if you click on the middle button, this is where all your reels are posted. Now, all videos are posted as reels now. So if you upload any video to Instagram, it will come through as a reel and it will show up on this page. Now, what you want to do is push on the button that you see on the bottom, the second one in next to your profile image. Um, it has that little play button, which is also the icon for the reels. I'm just going to pause this for one second to let you know that this is where you can scroll f and see different reels and get some inspiration and ideas. Some of the reels that you see will have this option over here that says use template. You can click on that to create a reel with the same audio and same amount of photos or videos and make it your own. Do this every day? Yeah. Why? Cause I love it. A much easier way to get to templates so that you can pick one and make it your own is by clicking on this camera that you see on the top right. Please note that you can only find this when you're on this screen. Now from this page, uh, this is where you would record a reel without using a template. There's so many different options. And this is for people who are a little bit more experienced in creating reels. What we're gonna do today is look for templates. So if you see on the bottom, you'll see right now reel is highlighted, but next to it, it says templates. You'll wanna click there and we're gonna scan through a bunch of templates until we find one that we think will work with our content. You do this every day? Yeah. Why? <laughs> Cause I love it. This one is perfect. Francesca and I filmed a bunch of clips from a day of shooting that we had in New York City at one of our clients, which is an eyeglass doctor and store. And we wanted to do a day in the life video. So we're gonna use this template. And the first thing we're gonna do is click on use template. Okay, so here you're going to see that this is five clips. It'll show you exactly how many seconds they're going to take from each clip. And we're going to click on add media to scroll through our camera roll and put in the clips that we want to use uh, to replace the ones that are already there on this template. As you click it, it will highlight that that's going to be clip number one. And you can continue until you find the five clips that you think are best. Keep in mind, they're very short time frames that you can use from each clip and i'm going to show you how to edit each time frame um, so that it selects the exact frames that you want on your reel you do this every day yeah why because <laughs> i love it yeah. also so that seemed like it was pretty good, but I really want to fine tune exactly where I want them to take the clips from, from each scene. So all you have to do is click on, on each scene that you see on the bottom and you can slide and move to the perfect time frame that you want. Okay, so now that we've fine-tuned everything, let's hit done and let's see how it came out. You do this every day? Yeah. Why? Because I love it. Yeah. Also.
Okay, so I think it looks really good. And now we're going to add some text by clicking on the uppercase and lowercase a in the top right corner. Once you write your text, you can scroll through the different fonts and options that they have until you find one that you like. I like this one, so let's go with this one. You can also use this lever on the left to make it bigger or smaller and then position it exactly where you want it to be. You can also choose where and when you want your text to appear. So if you click on the text on the bottom and then scroll using the levers on each side, you can position it to start whenever you'd like in your video. You do this every day? Yeah. Why? Because <laughs> I love it. Okay, we are ready to publish our reel. The first thing we want to do is select our cover. To select a cover, we are going to scroll through the video until we find one frame that we want it to pause on, and that will be our cover. Please note you can also upload a specific image that you have in your phone if you'd like. So there is a cover and a profile grid. The cover is what's going to be displayed on your reel page, and then the profile grid is going to be what's going to show up on your feed page. That profile grid has to be a square, as you can see here. You want to pick the best frame and make sure it's centered and it looks good because that is what everyone is going to see on your main feed. Now we are going to write our caption using at least one hashtag so that this reel will be searchable. Now we're going to tag Francesca as a collaborator. This will enable it to show up on her page and your page, and it will get double the exposure. You'll do this by clicking on tag people and then inviting a collaborator. Please note, Francesca or whoever you tag will have to accept that collaboration invite, and once they do, it will come up on both of your pages. You can now add a location, which I also highly recommend because if other people are searching your location that you tagged your reel in, your reel will come up. And that's it, everybody. All you'll do now is hit share and your reel will be out there for everyone to watch. You do this every day? Yeah. Why? Because <laughs> I love it. Yeah. Also. All right, so there you go. Um, uh, also, I'm gonna we'll we're gonna make this presentation shareable. So if you guys ever need to come back to it, um, you you'll be able to. And all these videos are embedded on it. Now let's just talk about some more real ideas because obviously a day in the life, yeah, that's great. You can do one, but then what are you gonna do next week or next month? Um, so we'll go through a couple more real ideas. Uh, one of them that I recommend is just kind of introducing yourself. You want to keep it short. You can share some brand values, showcase your personality, showcase your products or services. You can use visuals. Try to add some type of call to action. Um, I'm sorry, is that a, someone's hand is up? I see a... Yes, hi. Can I ask you a question? Hi, sure. <laughs> um, in regards to the selfie stick, I was looking at Amazon, but I couldn't find. Maybe you can help me. Is there one that's like a motion sensor? Like if I'm moving in front of the camera, would it start moving and catch me in different motions? Yes, there are. So there are ones that even follow you all the way through your like your wow. eyes, right? It'll like lock into your eyes. And as you move, the, the camera moves. Those are more of like stabilizers, not it won't be like a selfie stick. Sure. Um, those will be more of a, something that's called a gimbal. A gimbal. It's a little okay. bit more difficult to learn, but once you do, it's life changing. Um there are a Can couple you spell I can it recommend, out, and I will, I'll, sorry about that. Would you spell it for me? Uh, gimbal, G-I-M-B-A-L, I want to say. Um, okay. uh, let me just think of the one that we used. Let me, uh, after this, if you want to shoot me over an email, I'll send you a link to a couple of them that are relatively easy to figure out, but also 
amazing as far as like following your motion. Um, it's also great. It's a stabilizer. A gimbal is like a, a real stabilizer. So if someone's following behind you, there's no shaking. It really just it has like such a smooth transition. Um, but I will send you a couple of links of a couple that I re would recommend. Thank you so much. You're great, by the way. Oh, thank you so much. Thank I'm you. I'm really enjoying this. Appreciate it. Oh, I'm so glad. I'm so glad. Yeah. Happy to help any, thank any, you. anytime. Does anybody have else have any? I have a quick uh, question. Yeah. Um, you know, like if you do the reels on Facebook, you can attach it or tag your um, Instagram. Does it work yeah. the same way with Instagram that you can attach it to your Facebook? Yes. So you should be able to, there will be, um, a, as long as your Instagram is set up properly to your Facebook, you can share it directly to your Facebook. So you won't have to, and I recommend posting it on Instagram to Facebook, not, not the other way around. Okay. Yep. Thank you. No problem. I'll, I'm going to also everyone I'm going to at the end when we're done with this, I'll come back and answer anything you guys have any questions you have at all. Um, all right. So uh, uh, what I was saying about um, putting in like a call to action. So contact me today, call me, here's my phone number pointing down as you say that. Um, and then as you say it, the way I showed you in that reel, you can have your phone number come up as you're pointing. Um, and I always recommend to be as authentic as you can. Customer testimonials are always really good and, and your, your clients will like that. Obviously getting permission from the customer, ask them some questions, plan some type of questionnaire. Um, and you want to showcase the customer and their story. So I have uh, from one of my other clients, I have a, a testimonial video that we did um, that I'm going to play for you right now. And this was actually filmed remotely using a, a program called Riverside. So if your client is like, I would do it for you, but I'm so busy, I can't come or, you know, I don't have time. You can, you can, Riverside is like 10 or $15 a month. You can send them a link. It, there's an app and, a, and also a desktop version. And you can ask them the questions and film them. It's so, so easy to use. This was filmed remotely uh, that way. Um, and I'll just show you uh, an example of what we did. And, and yours doesn't have to look anything like this, but this is kind of what I'm talking about. And I'm not going to play the whole thing because it's kind of long, but I'm just going to play you the beginning part. Hi, my name is Erin Fagan. I'm the Vice President of Operations at U.S. Title Solutions, and we have been an agent for First American since 2007. I came on board to U.S. Title Solutions in 2007, uh, just shortly after we had established a relationship with First American. It was great for me as being a newly licensed title officer. I had the opportunity to work with Larry Usignall, First American's uh, lead underwriting counsel at that time. I was able to learn and grow with him and it helped me transition and move forward uh, as well as our company. So then it goes into, so these were the questions that I kind of prepared in advance. Um, there's a few others that I can um, send out uh, to everybody uh, of videos that we've done with other testimony, video testimonials in the real estate space as well. So I can send those. So this just kind of goes longer and you guys can watch it later. Um, let's see. All right. So uh, highlighting your staff and your team, it's a great way to promote like employee engagement. Again, planning your content, creating a storyboard, highlighting achievements or milestones of your staff members or team members that you work with, um, shooting the clips, editing the video within any of those platforms that I showed you. And again, in, um, including a call to action. So maybe you're on a real estate team, maybe you're a real estate broker, Showing stuff like this is always, people love it and your team members will love it. And chances are they will accept your collaboration post. So now all of a sudden you're reaching more people. This was another video that we did um, kind of doing, this was an employee milestone and we had all, all of the team members uh, say a couple lines and send over some clips for, for me to edit. So I'll play, I'll play this one for you. I, I think this one, let's see. This one's long too, so I'll just play a couple of them. Hi everyone. 
So today is October 21st, and while that date may not mean a lot to many people, it definitely means something to those of us at First American Title. Three decades ago, on this very day, something happened here at First American Title that would forever change the company in an incredible way. Something magical. Yep, you're definitely right about that. And this was an essential part of our company's journey and success. Lori Rice, this is your 30th work anniversary. And we want to make sure you know how much we appreciate having you so on this our team. was a really good example of planning ahead, coming up with the script, getting people involved, um, and everybody loved it. And if you if you guys watch it, it goes all the way. There's a lot of employees at this at this place, but um, and it just goes into like some some pictures of this amazing person, Lori Rice, and it was her 30th anniversary. She loved it uh, and everybody shared it. And it was a great way to get um, employees to engage. Um, so tips, tricks, and hacks. When you're going to do anything, I mean, anyone that's made it really big on TikTok and, and Instagram too, they cut, they have some type of, um, but they develop their own uh, niche and become like the master at it. So they're show, sharing tips, tricks, and hacks. If you guys are in the real estate industry, share your tips, tricks, and hacks. What can people do? Other real estate agents even, what can people do that are looking for a home? What are people, you know, involve people in your industry um, and, and, and get their ideas for tips, tricks, and hacks. Um, and then you want to showcase each tip in action. Maybe you have somebody who's a stager that has a way of, of making a house appear bigger or brighter or whatever it is, invite them to come and do a reel with you. Again, that's another collaboration post that will definitely be accepted. Um, you want to make sure that the tip solves a problem and achieves a goal more efficiently um, and encourage engagements in the comments, like ask people, hey, what do you think about this, this tip or trick? Do you have any advice on it? Um, by asking that question and getting engagement, when, when people engage on your reels and they're commenting and saving and liking, that reel is going to get shown to a lot more people because Instagram rewards you for engagement. For To them, it's telling their algorithms and robots and machines that you're putting out good content that people like. And so in return, we're going to show your content to more people. So always encouraging engagement in the comments. Um, definitely, I, I uh, recommend doing that. Um, using video to carry out a social media contest, come up with some sort of giveaway. Uh, you know, if you are, if you specialize in a specific, uh, town or, or, or a little area that has maybe like a new restaurant, ask them if they want to be involved, because again, another collaboration post say, Hey, can we get a $50 gift certificate to your coffee shop? Um, I'm going to put it up on my Instagram because I am, you know, the queen of, of real estate in this area. And I'd love to get your location um, more exposure. Um, you want to uh, encourage people to follow you in order to, and follow whatever restaurant or whatever your giveaway is um, in exchange for an entry into this contest. Um, and like I said, make it involve sharing, tagging, commenting in order to win. So another real idea. What an awesome FAQs idea. Are all uh, sorry. It's awesome. Oh, I love it. I'm going to go to the coffee shop in my town. <laughs> They'll listen and they're going to love it. Right. Because, and, and you're going to look great. They're going to look great. It's, it's literally a win-win for everyone, including the winner that, I love that it. wins the contest. Thank you. Um, and I would start it out by saying like, you know, I love this town. Um, and this town is really important to me. And these small businesses are so amazing. And, uh, you know, something to that effect. Because then, you know, as a realtor, it really shows that you care about the town. You know the town. Um, so, so another, like any, like frequently asked questions, especially as realtors, I'm sure you guys get a million of them. Um, you want to make sure that it's like a quick and concise answer to common questions that you're going to receive. Um, and any topic, if you want to address a question or topic from your followers and then provide it. Just a, like I said, a brief answer explanation, but in an engaging way. Um, so if people have a question about a closing, maybe at your next closing, instead of just talking about this is what happens at a closing, um, I would say, hey, I'm at a closing. You guys always ask me this question. See this right here? This is what it is. Um, so engaging, answer it in an engaging way. Um, 
create teasers. Uh, people uh, love these types of teasers. So any type of new product launch, get followers excited about a big event, maybe a, a listing that's off market or that's coming onto the market soon. Um, give a sneak peek of maybe that house, right? So maybe just say, show them just the backyard of a property um, and say, you know, make sure to follow me because I'm going to have this property going to hit the market soon. Um, and I'll show you the whole thing, you know, and then people will want to follow you if they're local uh, and see that um, something, you know, coming soon, maybe you're expanding your business, whatever it might be, just teasing people, I think really, really helps. Um, now, there are some people that just don't want to be in videos, which is totally okay. And I completely understand that. And there's plenty of times where I'm like, I'm, I don't want to be in a video today. So here's a couple of, of uh, tips on, on videos that you could do without showing your face. Um, so you can share a quote with a video or photo background. All you need to do is literally upload a, 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 a photo in the Reels app and then add text on it. And you can add a trending um, audio in the background. So an inspirational or motivational quote, or maybe it's just a quote that you came up with, which would probably be even better. Um, you can also use a video in the background. So I'm just gonna show you an example of one that I, this one I didn't do. I just found this one to kind of show you. So this reel that I found got an insane amount of views and it's literally this is it that's it nine seconds and it got tens of thousands of views um which is crazy but just an idea and then or you can give an office tour um the reel on the next slide that i'm going to show you it's 10 seconds long and it has two it had 2.4 million views just an office tour <laughs> I mean, it's literally, I, it's very pretty flowers. 2.4 million people watched it. Um, maybe you have something in your office that stands out. Maybe it's your awards that you've won. Um, and you can just do a little tour, you know, and, and kind of zoom and walk closer into like awards you've won or, or whatever it might be, but something as simple as that. Um, and obviously don't forget, I know a lot, everything pretty much we spoke to about today was regarding Instagram reels, but all of that content that you're creating, make sure you're posting it on Facebook, YouTube, LinkedIn, and TikTok, um, because it's just extra ways to reach other people. And that is it. So I'm going to open it up to questions. If you come up with a question um, that you didn't think of right now, uh, you can reach me. My contact information is, is on my website. Um, and I'm sure we can share it with you guys as well after the, the presentation. So any questions, let me know. Amy, I have, this is, oh, okay. go ahead. Hi, Jenny, jump sure. in. Oh, yeah, it's please. okay. Um, I just want to tell you, I actually saw that reel with the flowers in the office that came across <laughs> my feed. Um, and I actually have a creative sort of party planning business. And I saved that reel because I liked the look of the flowers. Um, yes. So that's crazy that you pulled that. Um, you were great today. Thank you for coming on. Um, um, if you would be able to share and maybe something you could send out, just, I know you were talking about like the equipment to be able to film yourself. Like if you could share any of that, that's definitely, I know all of us would be able to benefit from that. Um, so that we're able to create reels. We all on this call definitely want to get better at, um, creating. So um, I definitely would like that as well. So I would appreciate that. Thank you. What, what I'll do is I'll put together um, some of like the more cost effective, but really good equipment. And then I'm going to put some of the stuff that is a little more expensive, but totally worth it. If you're really going to invest your time in doing it. Um, and one of those things would be like the gimbal that we spoke about before. Um, those are there, it's a couple hundred dollars, but it, it is absolutely worth it. Um, there's a few of them that I'm going to recommend. So, um, Deanna, maybe I can send you a list that you can share with everybody. Will that work? Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. That'll be awesome. And we'll put it together with like sort of the economical and then the, yeah, and I, I want every, you, you don't need to buy a gimbal because literally iPhones 
are are better than some of the expensive cameras that I've spent a lot of money on that I don't that collect dust. So some of the the products I'm going to send don't feel like you need to buy them. I wait until you get really good at, at creating reels and really learning the ins and outs. Um, I think some of the stuff that I'm going to send you that is going to be twenty thirty dollars is going to be absolutely fine. But if you if you do want to invest in it. I'll send those options too, but don't think that you you need those because I've used the ones that are ten and twenty dollars, and they've created reels that were amazing. Awesome, thank you. No problem. That's great, Jamie. Jamie, I have a question for you that yes. goes back to that um, the really cool thirtieth anniversary post that you created. Was that mm-hmm. something that you sent out links through Riverside, like you did with the testimonial, or is that you no. just had people send you their raw video and you compiled it within the reel. Yeah. So I wrote the script and sent an email to everybody on that team. And I, I said, okay, Joe, you, you say this, just send me a selfie video. I wanted it to be like, I wanted them to be like walking in the park or in their office. And I said, come, it's up to you guys to come up with the creativity. I will create the, the um, script to make it super simple and it was, and they all did excellent. I mean, you'll see some of the quality of the videos are like vary because not everybody has the right settings on their phone, but I mean, it gets the message across. And the the main thing is, is that the, the recipient who, whose anniversary was absolutely loved it. So yeah, the, the video testimonials was all done um, through Riverside and I have Riverside films in, in, it can film up to 4k resolution. Um, so if somebody is using an iPhone, uh, or they have a good camera on their Mac, I usually recommend people that use using a Mac. If not, it's okay. Um, but Riverside is really easy and it, it records everything in really high quality. So in that link that I send you later, I'll send you some links to some of the videos I've filmed virtually. And you'll be like amazed that this was not filmed professionally. Um, Yeah. And on Riverside, so like you'll be, you would be a producer and you won't get recorded. So like when I, if let's say Deanna, I sent you a link and we're going to film you doing a frequently asked question, you'll hear me in the background and I'll see you and I'll be able to speak, but your screen and your audio are the only things that get recorded. Um, And then one more, uh, one more great part of of Riverside is that there's an option where you can share your screen with a teleprompter. So if you do have like a long script, I can share my screen and say, okay, Deanna, read this. I'm going to hit start and you can read, it won't even look like you're reading. Think of about three ways right off the bat that I could have used this. Like it's amazing. Six months. That's awesome. Yeah. So, and it's like 15 or $20 a month. It's really worth it. Um, yeah, to use. Very cool. Very cool. Does anybody have any other questions for Jamie? I'm finding like the same exact thing is happening this week that happened last week. I really wish that I blocked off the entire afternoon to work on Instagram. <laughs> last week it was LinkedIn. So <laughs> any other questions or comments or feedback that we that anybody might have for Jamie or for Instagram Reels? Um, I have a question. Sure. Um, so if I'm making a video, right, and the script is it's kind of long. Do you recommend like I write it down and like put it somewhere that I can see it and just read off of it or mm-hmm. should I memorize it? No, I recommend there's an app. Called, and Do you have an iPhone? I do. There's an app. It's literally called Teleprompter. That's the name of it. And it records you in 4K. So you would put the phone right in front of you You'll copy and paste your script in there. The the words will come up on the screen over your face, but not when it records you. So like your output is amazing, but you can read as long of, of a script as you want. And it comes out so nice. And you set, okay, that's the, speed, crazy. You set the size, everything. <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> yeah. it's it's And it's literally called teleprompter. I think they have like a free two week trial. So before you... um like click, like have your script ready. Um, so that I would use that, that two week trial. Other than that, after that, I think it's like $60 for the year. If you're going to do it, use it, then it's definitely worth it. If you're not, then just wait till you have your script, 
record it and then you can cancel your trial, but whatever yeah, you want. That's what do. I was thinking. <laughs> yeah. That's it's, it's so good. It works so well. And you set the speed and size, right? So whatever's comfortable for you, you can do some like practice runs and it's, it walks you through how to use it. It's really easy. And I, I highly recommend it. Oh my goodness. You are a queen. Thank oh, you so much. Awesome. This is awesome. Rochelle, you had a question? Yes. Hi, thank you so much. This is wonderful. Of course. Um, I appreciate all of this information. Um, so I've done a few reels, reels, however you pronounce it. And I guess my question is, um, I have two questions. I've heard lots of the hashtags and then I've heard only use a couple of hashtags. And then sometimes when I do use a hashtag, I'll go to like whatever the hashtag is and I, and I don't see it. Am I doing something wrong or, or maybe is it just because there's millions and millions of things under a, like a certain hashtag that you don't really. It, so if you're, if you're using the hashtag, let's say like real estate, the odds of your, like even being able to see it because there's probably a hundred thousand a minute, right. That are being posted. Right. Um, there is a way to sort from like, so sometimes it'll show you when you, when you click on a hashtag, it'll show you the post with the most engagement. So instead you want to click on newest first and you might be able to see yours. Um, okay. one thing that, so hashtags for reels four or five, that's all you need, what they've recently updated. And unfortunately I didn't have time to put it in my presentation because this was very recent that it happened. There is, um, when you're, when you go to post a reel now, there is an option, um, after you paste your caption or type your caption in about three down, it'll say like tag people, tag location. And then it'll say, um, add topics, click on that and you can choose up to three. Okay. That is literally how people are getting seen. It is, they just launched it. You might even need to update your phones, everyone in order to see it. Um, because it was la literally launched maybe a week or two ago. Um, and they have all different markets. You can only select three. You can't like write in your own, but they do have stuff for like homes, stuff for small businesses, stuff for, you'll, you, you'll, you will see it. Um, that should be priority over hashtags. I think hashtags are good, but five or six at the most. Don't post a million hashtags. You do not need them. You do not need them. I always see people that have like 50 million hashtags and then there's, you know, like, well, oh, huh, maybe I need to add more. Um, yeah, no. And then I guess the other question is it's best to have, um, obviously your profile has to be public, right? You can't have a private profile yes. Yes. for people to see, to get out to, for the world to see. Gotcha. Yes. Thank you so much. No Thank problem. You. Definitely. Yep. No problem. Awesome. Um, Thank you, Rochelle. And Rich? Uh, yes. So you went over reels today. How often uh, do you get engagements using Instagram story? Uh, like how say often? you make a reel and you post it and you repost it on your story. How effective is that? Very, very effective because um, Instagram is going to show that reel to people that they feel want to see it. When you share it to your story, it, that is going to be seen by all of your followers, right? Um, one more recommendation I would have is if you're going to share it to your story, tag your location by the town. Maybe if there's like a big shopping mall or whatever it is, because, um, in your story, there's people that search for, let's just say, um, Queens, New York story, right? So you'll get a lot more viewers that are outside of your, uh, current following if you tag your location. So if you share it to your story and then click on the button on the top and then hit location, 100% put in whatever location you, you want people that would be searching for that location okay. um, to look at. So yeah, I would, it's only going to help you. Um, and people, if, if it's a good reel, they will click on it and go to your page to see some of your other reels. Is, is that the same thing when you're creating a reel? Can you tag your location as well? Yes, you can. You can, but it won't go onto that location story. Does that okay. make sense? Yeah, that makes That's sense. Why when you put it to your story, I recommend every reel that I do, I put on my story and I put my location. And when you go to look at your viewers on your story, you'll see, you'll recognize 
from number two down will be all of your own followers. Um, and then the first one will be like people viewing that location story. So it would be good if you're like at an event or, or, or just, you could even put like the city and town, like the town or city that you're in. Um, if you know, whatever the location might be. Um, I know like when I'm on vacation and I tag like the hotel I'm at, there's like, Oh, my story will get an extra 75 views by people that are staying at that hotel. Cause they're just like looking at the hotel story. Um, and so that's what like kind of cued me in. I'm like, wait a second, I should do this for everything. And it definitely does help. Awesome. Thank you. Presentation was great, by the way. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I it's been fantastic. Been go ahead, Joanna. I'm sorry. Um, when you go into the Instagram and you pick like, like you're getting ready to make the reel and you're picking the templates. Um, I noticed that there's like 20 basic templates they give you. Is there a different way if you want to um, find like different ones? You know what I mean? That's, like, that's why it's so important as you're scrolling uh -huh. in the Reels app to save a post in that okay. the way I showed you guys to save it. Okay. Because Instagram is only like the Instagram templates that are available to you um, through the app they change them up and there's only maybe 15 or 20. Um, the only other way to access other templates, there's two ways. One is if you were scrolling and you saw one that said the word template on it mm -hmm. and you saved it to your, to your saved folder, you can then find it and then click on template and use it that way. Or um, the other way is by using one of those two of the three apps that I showed you in the presentation, they have a ton of templates that you can use. So you can use their templates, create the, the reel, and then post that to your reel. Does that make sense? Yeah, I've used CapCut before. CapCut is good. Um, CapCut is very similar to VN, um, but okay. but the um, in-stories and... Uh, in stories and video leap, I think are the best in terms of templates for reels. Cause all you have to do is like, it has the audio and everything. So you find one, it'll tell you six videos, three images or eight videos. Um, and you just put like draw, uh, drag and drop your content into their template. And then it, you hit save and it's, Boom, you have an amazing reel. Okay. I really like the one um, that you did where it said the reason why I love doing this. Yes. And that's what made me go in there to, I was going to make a reel about it. And when I went in there, I noticed they only have like 15 um, like generated ones. Yeah. There are a lot more. Um, if you scroll, like when you click on the reel button and you start scrolling on that long form video page, there are a ton, but it, it's, that's why as you see ones that you like, even if you don't want to do it today, save it. Cause that's the only way you're going to ever find it again. Okay. Thank you. No problem. Awesome. Jamie, like I said, this has just been jam packed with information. Everybody's just loving on you. This is really, really useful information. We're going to share this recording um, on the YouTube channel. I made a note of everybody who's here today. Um, but if you want to go ahead and just real quick, drop your email in the chat as well. We'll yes. include the video for replay, not just on the YouTube channel, but we'll also put it in the Dropbox and we'll put the links for all of Jamie's um, suggestions for equipment in the Dropbox as well, so that you'll be able to more easily find that stuff when you go to Amazon for your own search. Um, and then great, Jamie, thank you. Jamie's dropped her email in the chat. So if you want to reach out to her directly, if you see an opportunity to leverage AquaGems resources um, in your business or in other businesses, maybe that um, you have a hand in besides real estate, I encourage you to reach out to her. Uh, clearly, she's delivered jam-packed value today, and um, I have no doubt she would do the same for you on a one-to-one. -one. So thank you so much. Um, I appreciate everybody's joining, you know, everyone joining us today. If you know somebody that you're working with that couldn't be here today, let them know that we do have the follow-up that we'll get on recording. And Jamie, again, thank you so much. Thank Appreciate you, everybody. Your time. I'm, I'm so happy to awesome. do it. And um, 
maybe I'll see you guys again soon. Thank you. It's been fantastic. Thank you, Jamie. <laughs> Have a great day, everybody. All right. Take care. All right. Bye-bye.